This is ENN. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to ENN. Hi, I'm Malaya. You should all remember me, but just in case, I'm Janisa. As, as many of you all know, school was canceled last week due to the Thomas fire. We here at ENN send out our thoughts and condolences to all those who have been affected by the fires. Let's head over to Jonah with more on the Thomas fire with our top story. Hello everyone. Last week, the Thomas fire broke out in Santa Paula and with the help of strong winds spread to the city of Ventura and beyond. It is currently traveling north into the Santa Barbara County. County. This fire has burned over 250,000 acres and over 800 structures. Let's take a look at some of the incredible images of, from the fire. Multiple members of our Ardian family were evacuated during the fires of our, and our whole school was affected by the smoke. We here at ENN would like to thank all the hardworking first responders who have been tirelessly working to get the fire under control. Check out the links in the description below for the ways to help those affected by the Thomas fire. Hi, I'm Mika, and welcome to the third WWW of the year. Now let's hand over to Mr. Watchit for Watchit's Words of the Week. I started playing basketball. Tennis. Football. Football. Cuando era un niño. Getting really good at something isn't easy. It takes persistence and hard work. It takes years of commitment. Success isn't just about training your body. It's also about training your mind. Your body and brain get stronger when you push yourself. I didn't always know I'd be a basketball champion. Non sai mai cosa ti riserva il futuro. Os futuros campeões serão os criadores. Aquellos con el talento para cumplir su sueño. Con algo te imaginabas futuro. ¿Qué quieres crear? If you can dream it, you can do it. You can bring any idea to life. It's not going to be easy. It takes time and determination like anything else. You'll make mistakes, you'll get better. You'll get stronger and you'll succeed. Push yourself. Push yourself. Push yourself. Push yourself. Push yourself. You did it. Oh, respect. Anybody can learn. So the thing you listen.
Thank you, Mr. Waltrip, for those wonderful, inspiring words. Let's head over and check out our next segment. Oh, hi. My name is Robert, or you could call me Robbie. Hi, my name is Angeline. Nice to meet you, Robbie. I think we already met before. Yeah, true. So what are you reading? How to Eat Fried Worms. Is that a cookbook or something? Haha, <laughs> no, it's just a book about a boy who, who is dared to eat worms. Oh, cool. Well, let's check out what, what book a new reader has for us this week. Hi, my name is Lucas. Hi, my name is Anthony. And, and this is the book Wonder, Wonder by, by R.J. Palacio. Palacio. And we, and we just hope that you'll give a like on um, what's your favorite part. And yeah. Okay. It's about a little boy who went to school. And has a deformed face. Um, and everybody was looking at him weirdly and he didn't like it. And then at the end, he got friends. And my favorite part was and when he, when he graduated and he was a 10 year old boy. And when he graduated to, I think, fifth or sixth grade? Sixth grade. Yeah, sixth grade. And yeah. What's your favorite part, Lucas? My favorite part when he gets lots of cool friends and when he gets friends with Jack and everything. And what's yours? I already told you. Oh, yeah, right. <laughs> Hi, I'm Keanu, and this is your Norte weather. The upcoming, week, the upcoming week will be windy again, but not as bad as it was last week. At the average temperatures will be in the high 60s to the low 70s. During the day, the sun should be out for most parts uh, with, with a few days with some clouds. Remember to be safe outside from the smoke from the Thomas fire. It, it, it is still swirling in the air. That was your weather, back to you. Hello and welcome to the introduction of Mr. Napolis for Counselor's Corner. So without further ado, let's head over to Mr. Napolis with Counselor's Corner and see what he has to say. Hi, I'm RJ Palacio, the author of Wonder. I am asking a bunch of children here in Brooklyn about kindness and what kindness means to them. I think kindness is like every you should treat people the way they want to be treated and you want to be treated. If someone's new somewhere, you can make them feel welcome. Maybe say hello to them if you don't even know them. Like say, hi, my name is Sarush. Can right? I play with you? Yeah, exactly. Yes? I think like like kindness should be spreading everywhere like to to everyone in in like in different states yeah and 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 matter what color they are how does someone show you kindness when my dad let me cut with the big knife not the small one sometimes like i'm hungry after school mm -hmm. and i get kind of hangry and my mom like makes me a really good like rice sometimes with chicken. Who should you be kind to? You should be like kind to everyone equally. There's some mean people out there yeah. that just need a little bit of kindness sprinkled on them and they'll change their whole personality. What you just said, I love the idea of sprinkling kindness on somebody. Glitter kindness. Glitter kindness. If you met someone who wasn't like, was really grumpy and wasn't being very kind and you could just kind of magically sprinkle some like yeah. glitter on them and poof, they'd be, they'd be kind. I'm sure you guys have seen the news sometimes and you've over the last year, you've seen some grown-ups not be very kind to one another. They're not very, they're not setting a very good example. You know, that's the thing. So like that's little kids who are watching you, we're like, like with um, um, it's better to be kind than mm -hmm. to be right. You be nice to someone, not only they get, be, are happy, but you also are happy. It's kind of a boomerang thing, like throw kindness out 
and it always comes back to you. I feel really confident whenever I meet and talk to kids like you. You guys are gonna be the leaders of the world and you're gonna be kind and you're gonna lead with kindness. I think we're doing our parts at the moment. I think you really are and I wanna thank you guys so much for being part of this. I get a high five from you guys. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you, Mr. Napolis. Why won't you work? What am I doing wrong? Oh, hey, sorry about that. Maybe we should head over, check out what Mr. Romano has for us this week in the teacher tech tip. Hopefully, it can fix my problem. For this week's tech tip, we're gonna give you some tips and tricks to use with Google search. One thing you can use is quotation marks to search for exact phrases. Like maybe you're looking for a cookie recipe and you want only chocolate chip cookies. Using the quotation marks will give you only the information on those specific words and will filter out everything else. Another trick you can use is using the minus sign to remove words. So if we want to look for cookie recipes again, but we don't want chocolate chips, we just say minus chocolate chip. And now every recipe that comes up would not have that word or phrase in it. The last trick we're going to show you is how to search when you don't know all the words or phrase that you want to search for. You can use an asterisk. For example, if you're looking for maybe a movie title and you don't know so all the words, you can put an asterisk in where you don't know the word. Google will fill in that word you're looking for and give you your results. That's this week's Teacher Tech Tips. Thanks, Mr. Romano. I think that is exactly what I needed. Finally, now I could finish this project. Well, that's our show, another week done. We would like to remind all of our viewers to check out the description below for links to help those affected by the Thomas fire. Also, we here at ENN would once again like to thank the firefighters and police officers that jumped immediately into action to help with the fire. Also, don't forget all the volunteers and families that donate supplies or their time to help out those in need. Very true. Thank you, everyone, who helped out. Well, how should we end the show? How about we wave and then say goodbye? That works. And they, when the credits roll, we can talk about random stuff so the viewers think we are actually talking about something important. Okay. That sounds nice. Mm -hmm.